keep the wells and brushes separate. Bottle caps and brushing. Follow your normal tooth preparation procedure. The teeth must be cleaned, isolated, and etched. Apply Transbond Gel Etch to the lower arch. Time according to the manufacturer's directions. Paint a thin layer of resin A onto the teeth. Applying this thin layer is similar to painting one's nails. Note how the thin layer of resin A is applied to the tooth surface. Note how the thin layer of resin B is applied to the custom resin base. Seat the lower tray with a hinge motion. Note the firm pressure occlusally, labially, and buccally to avoid tray rotation. Hold the segment firmly for a minimum of 30 seconds using a timer. The tray must sit for a minimum of two minutes prior to removal. Repeat the preparation and isolation for upper arch using the same technique. Paint a thin layer of resin A on the upper teeth. Paint a thin layer of resin B on custom resin bases using a different brush. Note that the resin working time is not an issue until resin A and resin B finally come into portray with a hinge motion. Note the firm pressure occlusally, labially, and buccally to avoid tray rotation. Hold the tray firmly for a minimum of 30 seconds using a timer. After the 30 second hold time, let the tray sit for two minutes. Starting with the midline, peel the first half of the soft tray distally. This is where you realize the advantages of trimming around. Remove one half of the inner soft tray, pulling from midline towards distal. Because the soft tray was pre-cut in the laboratory, it will come off in quadrants. Remove any excess flash from the lower arch. Flash will be minimal if resin A and resin B were applied in a thin layer. Repeat for the upper arch.